What is up, Layer Army? I am Gamer Near Five coming at you with another video. What is up, everybody? It is Gamer Talk After Hours. It is the um well um standalone Gamer Talk um show that we review things. So let's give us a round of applause. We have. Um, completed the game. Yay. Took us three years, but we finally completed it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, got the review here. If you don't know what game I'm talking about. There it is. That is the game I'm talking about. Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. Main. Story. I have not done the exploring series yet. Lego Star Wars Force Awakens review. This is the review for the game. Um, the game was amazing. I, I will give it that. It was amazing. And, um, it was well done. I did find some bugs, so that did affect my, um, part of the review. But, without further ado, let's get in. To my part, I do believe it's next. Yes! Me! <laughs> Gamma! <laughs> Hello, Gamma! I gave the game a 9.5 out of 10. Um, the reason why I, I said it's a good game, yes, it's an amazing game. Just, it didn't feel like I could give it a 10 out of 10, a perfect score. Being that I did f uh, come across certain parts of the game that weren't that polished. And, well, go back to one level, I had to restart it twice. Uh, once it was insanely annoying, as I do believe you guys know what uh, episode I'm talking about. If you don't, what's uh, wrong with you? But um, I had to stop the entire recording, being that... The second time I had to stop the entire recording, the first time it, the entire game froze. That's not supposed to happen in a Lego game. But, um, in, uh, for me, uh, it happened twice. So the second time, uh, a crate, I do believe, of ice cream, uh, got caught on a conveyor belt in the exact same level. This is the same level. Different time. The time I was... I actually finished the level, being that I wasn't going to make another part. Um... And, uh... It got stuck! I tried! I tried my hardest to get it to come unstuck, but it would not unstick. And so I had to replay the entire level. That was annoying, especially being that I had... Uh, the start, the stud ranking. Twice. <laughs> it was insanely annoying. But I got it again. And, uh, we, uh, finished the game. Uh, I finished the game. And, um, so I gave it 9.5 out of 10. Um, I, I could have given it 10. But because of that, uh, nah. But, um... Uh, that's the bad part. The good good things about this game. Uh, number one, I love all the humor. The humor in this game. Oh my god. They, they brought in all the audio from... Uh, the, this is another good thing. They brought in all the audio from the film. Uh, that's pretty good. I find that awesome that they did that. And um, what they did was added some of their original stuff in with the gameplay. They added lots of Lego humor. Quite a few times we saw, um, stormtroopers using, uh, bananas as guns. That was funny. Uh, the building mechanics I didn't like. Uh, I just did not like that. Um, yeah, you held B. Usually you need to constantly press B in the LEGO games, but no, you had to hold it. I did not like that. And, uh... Fast forward, Lego Incredibles video, the Lego Incredibles game. They're doing the exact same thing. <laughs> They're doing the exact same thing. So, um, yeah. 
I don't know. It's it's kind of uh, it was kind of a thing. I I that could have brought it down to eight, but I'm not that mean. Uh, well, eight point five, but nah, I'm not that mean. Um, being that the game was fun. The game was fun. I loved all the humor. The humor was hysterical. Uh, one of my favorite parts from the film, I loved how they recreated it, was um, when the Resistance arrived on Taco Donna. I can't add it in, being that it's slides. But um, if I could, I will. I would add it. I might add it at the end. Mm, probably not. Anyway, um, as you know, they have the the X wings uh coming. Uh, to help, so, well, practically, save, save their butts, and, uh, and, um, in the LEGO game, we're doing that, there's a stormtrooper on a surfboard, that's just stupid, I do believe that was happened, but, um, they just added the most amount of humor ever, well, Multiple times we had to fight stormtroopers that were naked. Why? One question: Why? Why would that even be in the game? But um, certain things were just nice that they added. They could have easily cut corners on certain things and not add um um the first the tutorial level. It wasn't even Force Awakens. It was Episode Six. It was episode 6! Uh, it was the, like... Um, that's... In, that was an insane level, I loved it! It was a while ago, I played that so long ago. I played it three years ago. Um, but, uh, yeah. It, it was a g great game, just... Um... Yeah. Just because of all the things that I didn't really enjoy in the game, I, I'm having to give it 9.5. But yeah, hey, there's another LEGO Star Wars game coming. I'll cover that later in this video. But uh, yeah, I think it'll end well, I think. <laughs> anyway. You, she was never in a video. I know. She was never a part of the series. I know. She had the game. She played the game. I know she played the game, and I know she liked the game. So I asked her, I asked I for her opinion on the game. She gave a 10 out of 10. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I'm kidding. Um. And the what I have here, I just took out of our uh, Instagram messaging uh, that I kept messaging her. Uh, she, I asked her if she had any comments. Uh, she said ten out of ten. I asked her if she had any comments, and she sent all this. So, except for one thing, I did not put here, being that I'm gonna cover it after uh, in another video coming up. Well, gamer talk episode. Four? Four, yeah. Gamer Talk episode four on the 19th of July. I will be covering it. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'm not gonna bring it up. No, I'm not gonna bring it up now. That, just a tip, just a, a little um, hint. What's gonna be getting discussed on that episode of Gamer Talk is, um, uh, Lego Star Wars, um, the Skywalker Saga. I'm gonna have fun with that one. <laughs> but, um, what I's comments were, were, uh, her comments were as follows. She liked how, um, like I said, all, it's the original voices. Lego has started doing that for most of the major, um, Games that are being brought in from movies. They've been doing that for, I think, all of them. Incredibles has it started. 
It started in a Lego Jurassic World. If you guys remember that. It started then. It was one of our worst series to date. Anyway. Anyway. And, um, uh, as, uh, she also said, they eventually added everyone. And I mean everyone. Everyone in the Star Wars universe. That is true that they've added everyone. Um, I have all the DLCs. Um, and, uh, yeah. It's quite a few. Um, the music was beautiful, she, she said, was, uh, beautiful, that, yep, the music was great, yep, that caused a lot of my videos to get copyrighted, yep, that was fun, <laughs> that was fun, but I'm still fighting on the, on the final episode, bleh, <laughs> And, um, some parts of the game were e either easy or hard, but fun at the same time because of all the humor. <laughs> yes, I found this a good uh, addition also. The ships and microships were a good addition to the game. Yes, I would agree with her on that. Um, that is, uh, that was uh, an insanely good addition, um, just, uh, I've never used them, I can't say how they are, some of the cars I know, some of the vehicles in the game are very hard to control. <laughs> <coughs> just finished recording the Explorer episode 1! <laughs> Uh, which will air Tuesday. But anyway, <laughs> I have to record. Uh, I have to record five videos in advance for next week because I'm out of town. So um, yeah. Uh, just punch my mic. Ow. Um, all the humor was hilarious, but overall, it was uh, was really fun. Um, I agree with her completely on this. It was an insanely fun game, especially with all the humor. The humor just made it a whole lot more worth it. And uh, if you haven't, this is this is for me. If you haven't played the game, if you haven't gone the game, I would so recommend it. Well, actually, not at the moment. Not anymore. If there, there's another one coming, get that one. <laughs> it's probably going to have a lot more, uh, a lot more, um, levels. There were ten levels, and, well, eleven if you include the, uh, pro, twelve if you include prologue and epilogue. But I'm not counting this. <laughs> Especially epilogue. That was an insanely quick level. <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, it was a good game, and of course, with 10 out of 10, and my 9.5 out of 10, we have a total ranking of 19.5, that is a job well done for LEGO, I, um, Definitely haven't reviewed any other games in this stature before I've reviewed one and that was Lego Dimensions and uh, I can't even remember what I gave that. No, I can't. I literally cannot remember. No, I, I'm gonna look it up. I know where it is <laughs> I know where it is. Hold on. We need our channel. Well, our channel. Well, my channel. Well, our channel. <laughs> our website. Also, if you want to, you can go check out the reviews on NaderWorld.com. It is our website, uh, operated by Google. <laughs> reviews. Did I put it up here? I did! Lego Dimensions!
7.5 out of 10. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. I gave it 7.5. <laughs> so low. That's very low. Um, but yeah. With this, it's time to check out the trailer for Lego Star Wars. The Skywalker Sega. I have it in this. I hope you guys are wanting to see it. If you haven't seen it, you're gonna see it here. And, uh, the game looks amazing. Um, the humor looks like it's gonna be back. So, without further ado, I'm gonna mute my mic. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to let you guys be the judges. If you haven't seen the trailer, this will be your first time seeing it. I've seen it, like, five times. <gasps> Product not yet rated. Product not yet rated. Really? Why do I have a feeling that this is the last slide? <laughs> anyway, in Nader Army, um, this game coming up, it looks like the humor is just gonna be as funny. Look, look at that. <laughs> it's gonna be as funny. It's gonna be insane. I'm going to have a blast playing this game when it comes out. Of course, I'm going to get it. It's a Star Wars game. Now, because of how we're going to be doing things this next season, it's coming out 2020. So, uh, it's all nine films. I really badly want to get this, uh, game. Um, the only way it'll make, make channel, um, timing in the, probably the spring, that's probably when it's going to come out. Uh, I don't expect them delaying it to the fall. Um... But, uh, uh, the only way it would make channel, um, uh, uh, the channel, well, what we're going to be putting into place this season is we're going to have two release times. Well, two start times for, um, major series. And, uh, well, for new series. And, um, this series would have, this, um, game would have to come out before the spring start time. Because we can't start it into the summer, that, the way too hard, but, um, but yeah. Um, we'll see what happens. It's coming 2020. It's gotta be a big year. For a lot of us. But, um, in it, I mean, I hope you, uh, will stick with us, and, uh, if you guys do want to see this, uh, try to, if you want to see us try, me, try to push this for our launch date in the spring, if it comes out before then, uh, let me know, and I will try my hardest. If you don't, okay, and it'll make next fall. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. You need to hear me. I hope to see you all in the next video. This is Game Nerd 5 signing off. 
And, uh, don't forget to like the video, favorite the video, share the video with your family and friends, and don't forget to subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified of any future videos. Also, go out and buy this game! <laughs> Just had to say it. See you later, Nader Army. This is Game Nader 5, signing off. See you later, Nader Army.